The one who said to another one, I love you, and be never doing it to please him, then what kind of a love this? You see, Dr. Hasni make his best, his best he's making, so that his wife, Shana, to be happy. Because he loves her. The one who loves Allah Almighty, loves Rasulullah, he must make his best to them, so that, to show them that he loves them. Why you are laughing? Uh, not accepting those questions. <laughs> Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. La ilaha illallah. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. La alhamd. Allahu Akbar. Kabira. Walhamdulillah. Kabira. Wa subhanallah. Al-Azim. Wa bihamdi. Al-Kabib. Kata. Wa asila. La ilaha illallah. Wa la na'abudu illa iya muhlusina. Lahu al-Deena. Wa lahu al-Kabira. Al-Kabira. لا إله إلا الله وحده صدق وعده نصر عبده وعز جنده وهزم الأحزاب وحده زمم يا الله أهزم الأحزاب يا الله لا شيء قبله ولا شيء بعده لا إله إلا الله الله أكبر الله أكبر لا الحمد ألف ألف صلاة والسلام عليك يا حبيبنا يا حبيب الله ألف ألف صلاة والسلام عليك يا سيدنا رسول الله ألف ألف صلاة والسلام عليك بك يا رحمنا الله ألف ألف صلاة والسلام عليك يا من أرسله الله تعالى رحمة العالمين ألف ألف صلاة والسلام عليك يا حبيبنا يا إمام الأنبياء والمرسلين والأولياء والصديقين والصالحين يا إمامنا يا إمام التقوى ألف ألف صلاة والسلام على سيدنا رسول الله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين وأخوانك الراشدين وأخوانك من الأنبياء والمرسلين وثلاثة المحمدين إلى يوم الدين وعلى صاحب الزمان سيدنا محمد بن زوار الخطاب قبل عتابك يا سيدنا رسول الله وأرجو لك الشريعة دي خلوة ضعيفة نستأذن منك يا سيدنا رسول الله شعب الله الدار شعبنا شعب الله الدار سيدنا رسول الله حقاني إذن لنا يا حبيبنا يا حبيبنا بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم First of all, we say أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم We take permission from Sultan Awliya, our Shaykh, Mawlana Shaykh Muhammad Nazim Haqqani, and from Seed of Awliya, our Shaykh, Grand Shaykh Mawlana Shaykh Abdullah Al-Fahim Dazan, the most beloved to us, and the most beloved to Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and the most beloved to us is Seed of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, who is the most beloved to Allah Almighty, who is the most beloved to Allah. Is in my pocket. Who put it? I didn't put it. I should put it. I need batteries. What is it? Batteries. Batteries will work our spirituality. No. Only will work the physical. They don't need batteries. They need like donkey to have to eat and drink. And for this we are feeding our donkeys. But our spiritual power never we are trying even to supply them by spiritual batteries to feed them. And the spiritual batteries is the teaching of Grand Sheikh, Onana Sheikh Nazim, all Grand Sheikhs of Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq radiallahu anh, Sayyidina Ali radiallahu anh. Now Sayyidina Ali radiallahu anh is acting in, in between the nation of Rasulullah and Sheikh Nazim always was calling him, he was telling him to be in between the nation of Rasulullah, to be replacing him, and also to be supporting his successor, Sheikh Muhammad, and support all the murids of Mawlana Sheikh Nazim, and also support Sahib al-Zaman Sayyidina al-Mahdi alayhi salam, and also Asking Sayyidina Shah Mardan, Shah Mardan is the uh, king of Jinn who is responsible uh, under the hand of uh, the kings of uh, kings of kings of Jinn, Sayyidina Al-Hazaz, 
from Rasulullah appointed him, his grand, his ancestors to be the kings of Jinn, whom they are real believers, women protecting Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam from the giant of non-believers of Jinn, and for this Sayyidina the grand Sayyidina al-Hazaz. Uh, greatest one is all his descendants. They are the kings today of judgment for Jinn. And the right hand of them is Sayyidina Shahi Mardan. And Shahi Mardan always is under the hand of Sayyidina Ali radiallahu anhu Allah wa He is responsible for all living things on earth. Animals, snakes, scorpions, wild animals, <coughs> domestic animals, and also for the animals in the mankind. Every one of children of Adam alayhi salam, he brought up with him from his childhood. So plenty of animals, dragons, snakes, scorpions inside his body, feeding them, giving them whatever uh, they like from desire, sexual desire, or uh, happiness, or food, or everything. And now they are so huge in his body that they are big enemy to him and he will see that they are going to be eating him and finishing him in the grave. They will come from inside him and they will eat his body and finish him. And then they will eat also the bones and or he will remain only the dust of him and one small bones, the bone tail will remain because Allah Almighty will make it to protect it in the earth or the others not to eat it, or any of these animals to eat it, because it will absorb the rain of sperm which will be descended from heaven, from Allah Almighty. In the 40 years where everyone is dead, one said that, Madi Malaika Israfil blow the horn, 40 years, no one alive except only Allah Almighty because Allah, he created death and he created life. He will be over life, over death always. Allah Almighty existing himself by himself and all they will be totally finished. Even this angel, this malaika and the last malaika, Allah will take his soul is Sayyidina Azrael alayhi salam, the angel of death. And when Allah taking his soul, he make him to feel all the pain which for all create or for all alive things whom he take their souls, how much they were in pain when he was taking this soul from every cell of their bodies, Allah will make him to feel all the pains of all creation into their soul until they say, Oh Allah Almighty, if I know it is like this, so painful, I will uh, yani ask as Sayyidina Jibreel alayhi salam and Sayyidina Mikhail and Sayyidina Rafir, all they apologize that we cannot do it to Allah Almighty. On the Sayyidina Azrael, he say, oh Allah, I do it. I will, I will take the soul of your uh, creations. When he, Allah takes his soul at the end, no one to take the soul of Azrael is the last one remain, because he, take, he will take all the souls of all the creation, heavenly or earthly. And for him, Allah will take his soul, but he will make him to feel the pain, how much he used to make people suffer in taking their soul. He is going to feel all this suffering, and he will say, oh, if I know like this, I will apologize from it. And I will not accept to be a one taking the soul of all creations. But like this, he will be finished and only remain the holy face of Allah Almighty and Allah Almighty, he will say in these 40 years, to whom the kingdom today? Who is the owner of all? Who is the God of all? Is there any God else than me? Anyone who used to say, I am God, let him appear. Anyone dictator, anyone claiming something, title, <clears throat> giving himself, let him answer me. To whom the kingdom? All that, who will answer? No one will answer. Then Allah Almighty will answer himself by himself. The kingdom today is for me, my Allah Almighty.
And like this 40 years, Allah will rain it with rain, but not water. It will be from the sperm of the, like the sperm of the mankind. And it will be absorbed by the bone tail, which remain in the earth. Allah will make the rain to cover all the universes by 70 yards, which means in this 40 years, it, the earth of these all universes will take this rain till down 70 yards. Branch Shem said that there is even till 70 yards inside the earth, there is a one day for one of the creation, mankind or animal or heavenly one or earthly one, like this. And then everyone, he will be changed when the one taking this uh, spell he will be changed to a, a piece of blood. Then the piece of blood, alaka, summa mudra, summa alaka. Then Allah will dress him by bones. Then Allah will cover the bones by meat, flesh. And then they will go all sleeping under the earth, complete, waiting the soul to come to their bodies. Then Allah will create seven, three, seven, five, seven. Sayyidina Jameel alayhi salam, Sayyidina Mikail, Sayyidina Asrafir, Sayyidina Azrail, the two angels of questioning and Karwanakir, and Sayyidina Khudr alayhi salam, and the lawyer of the court, seed of Awliya, and he will tell them, go oh, and wake up my beloved Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and be quiet and tell him that your God is waiting for you. God waiting for us to see how much you are. Allah Almighty giving respect with beloved Muhammad. Allah waiting for you. They will come and but at that time no haram, no one knows who are in the place of Rasulullah or anyone because all the grave could be totally and all the mountains all even stones, oceans, everything will be totally by the shaking of the earth from Allah Almighty for the years. Everything will be totally uh, finished. It will be only sands. They know the grave of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam by the light which is coming from the grave to uh, reaching to the divine presence of Allah Almighty. Allah will make them to know the way of Rasulullah by this time. And they follow the light until they will be all standing and dressing Salat wa Salam to Rasulullah. Then everyone is so shy to wake up Rasulullah. Not something easy, the seed of Prophet beloved to Allah Almighty. Allah can wake him up, but he sent escort for him. More uh, adult from Allah giving good uh, respect to his beloved Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, sending them uh, <coughs> to wake up Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, not to recreate him, already he's alive Rasulullah, but to wake him up as a physical body. And they will then discussing between each other that we feel shy, everyone, I cannot do it, I cannot do it, and they will uh, choose Sayyidina Jibreel alayhi salam, they told them you are the, bell, the one who used all uh, lifetime to come with revelation to Rasulullah from Allah Almighty. So we all feel shy. You are a little bit have French, friendship with Rasulullah. So please, you take this and we will be uh, behind you all uh, giving salat wa salam and we will wait Rasulullah. And then suddenly we will one step will be in front and he will say, Oh, beloved Muhammad, as-salatu as-salamu alayhi, Ya Habib Allah, Ya Salamullah Ta'ala wa Ahmad Allah. Allah Almighty waiting for you, inviting, like this he will come up. Allah waiting for you, inviting with his divine presence, please, Ya Rasulullah, we are sent by Allah Almighty for this, and Rasulullah he will the earth will be open, and Rasulullah sitting in his very physical body, and then she will say, he will be then from the dust of the sand, and I guess he will be removing from the eyebrows, and 
مستعيش عن adjusting his view and Allah will send special light jubba light from light the dress for Rasulullah from light cannot be described from the divine the attributes of light of Allah Almighty will be dressed in the body of Rasulullah and then the first thing Rasulullah he will say after uh, preparing himself for this to meet Allah Almighty he will say Ya Jibreel my nation my nation what happened to my nation my ummati 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 Ya Jibreel and Sayyidina Jibreel will answer him Ya Rasulullah no one yet Allah survive him except this whom they are the escort of you Sayyidina Jibreel Sayyidina Mikhail Sayyidina Asrafi Sayyidina Azrael and Qurana Kiel Sayyidina Khudra alayhi salam the royal of the court seat of Aulia and we are sent by Allah Almighty Allah and survive us specially to invite you to his divine presence that is that he is waiting for you see Allah waiting this is a very important point Allah waiting for him and then Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he will know that no one yet is he survived And then by one step he will be in the divine presence of Allah Almighty, going down in sujood in between the hands of Allah Almighty without help, and he will make sujood, praising, glorifying Allah Almighty by Mawlana say, at that moment Allah will dress him by such praising and glorifying, <coughs> never opened before from pre-eternal, till that time never this ocean of praising and glorifying open just at that moment will be open and he will be praising and glorifying Allah Almighty by the tongue of Allah Almighty then after a while leaving him Rasulullah, Allah Almighty to Rasulullah to leave uh, beloved Rasul in sujood, then Allah will tell him raise your head My beloved Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, most welcome. I am then yet order the angel Israfil to blow the horn because I am going to give this order to you. You will order him to blow the horn. You are responsible. I create a creation for you and you will order this horn to be blown. And the horn, Sayyidina Israfil, not so huge malaika. But his horn will cover heavens and earths, and it is full with holes. Every hole represents to a one a soul from it to appear to go to the body which related to it. And like this, our Rasulullah he will order Sayyidina Israfil to blow the horn. And just he blow the horn, every soul going to the body under the earth. And everyone will be then like land coming up from the earth. And all of them under their uh, burdens of sins and mistake and badness. And how they were unrespecting Allah Almighty, even worshiping Him, but not respecting. And for this Allah was saying in the Holy Quran, Wailun lil Musalim. He didn't say, good and goodness for the one whom praise or worship, but Allah say wail, a valley of Jahannam of hell wail on the musallim alladheena hum an salatihim sahoon the ones whom they were headless in their prayers and from their prayers to find God to find Allah Almighty only as if it is a routine As if as this exercises, they work up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Not like Sayyidina Ali radiallahu anhu karam Allah wajah, when he said, I didn't make sujood in my life to an unseen God, always praying in between the hand of Allah Almighty. Sayyidina Ali radiallahu anhu, how about Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq radiallahu anhu, how about Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, right? And then Allah Almighty will be First of all, inviting, they all will be crowded 
from all over the planets and universes, heavenly creation, earthly creation, and all of them under this burden, the sun, not one sun, but every uh, system, it contains the sun, and there is how many planets rotating around the sun, and how many suns, and us, and count us, but there is a mother of sun, the reality of the sun, which is always under the throne of Allah Almighty in Sujood. This reality of the sun, of all suns, and the reality of the moon, of all moon, they would be over the heads of people, burning them, and the waves of Jahannam covering the people, standing its waves over them, and all they will be totally, everyone according how much he has sins and badness will be affected by these waves, not by the fire, but only by the waves of the fire. And the one who is so sincere and so deep and truth one, never the waves affect me. It will be uh, as Allah, thus to say, Ibrahim Khalil alayhi salam, his prophet, Ya Nahukuni Baghdan wa salaman ala Ibrahim. It will be like a very nice uh, coldness and very nice uh, uh, safe safety coming on these whom they are sincere to Allah Almighty. And like this everyone will be walking and walking under the burden of all their sins to reach to the divine discipline of Allah Almighty where Rasulullah waiting and the royal of the court right hand of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa and Allah Almighty over all the judge of this court, Allah Almighty sending his essence according to the highest level between creation, who is the highest type, seed of Prophet Muhammad or Rasulullah. And for this Allah will be coming, uh, descending according to the highest level, will be appearing as if uh, he is Bilal Muhammad but cannot be described of how to say about for Allah Almighty. And then everyone coming, 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 coming throughout it until all they will reach this day of judgment. It is according to the our power counting, it will be equal to a 500 years of our calculation. One day, Yawm al 500 years, very long day, very uh, burden day, where all day will be uh, ashamed for, to look at the face of Allah Almighty. And Allah saying, وَعَنَتِ الْوُجُوهُ لِلْحَيِّ الْقَيُّمُ Allah saying this for the ayah. وَعَنَتِ الْوُجُوهُ What is the meaning of وَعَنَتِ الْوُجُوهُ? No one dare to look at the face of Allah Almighty, all of them, their faces down. Anatil Rumi down, their faces. Their Hayyul Qayyum, all of them, like this. No one dare to look at Allah Almighty. Wa Anatil Rujuhu, their Hayyul Qayyum. Wa Qad Khaba Man Hamalatum. And worse and curse for the one who is carrying with him at that day badness and sins and mistake. He didn't repent in his past life from it to be forgiven. He's still carrying it. Allah saying, "Is the worst and curse is over." And like this all, and you will not hear any voice. Even no one there to look to and another because all they are totally naked. No rest on them. Neither man can, in his mind, to look at a woman or a woman to look at a man. All of them looking of the throne of Allah Almighty, but keeping their heads down and all in a queue going to the to be crowded but in, in the divine the presence of Allah Almighty. And Allah Almighty will tell Bilal Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam uh, while Rasulullah will make Shafa and ask Allah Almighty to open this court, Maulana say, because they go to Sayyidina Adam to make Shafa for them that Allah to finish this long day, miserable day, suffering day. And he say, I cannot do it. I commit a 
sin, I was disobeying Allah Almighty that He kicked me out of Jannah. I feel shy from Allah Almighty to ask Him uh, open to finish this day. He will tell me now, you are asking me why you didn't ask me and remember me when you commit the uh, sin when I told you don't eat from this tree. You disobey me, but you obey Shaitan and you ate. He didn't uh, disobey Allah Almighty, but the ones whom Mawlana say was carrying on his back, children of Adam, they were pushing him falsely because all of them, they like to disobey Allah Almighty, and you see them, all of us, how we are disobeying Allah Almighty, forcing Sayyidina Adam to eat from this forbidden tree, and he was only tasting it, not yet eating it, Allah called him and took him out and make him to descend to this planet, to the globe, to the earth. Allah chose it for him and was chosen in between all the earth, the most blessed place, not Mecca or Medina or Arafah, but the blessed place to Allah Almighty for forgiveness descending forever. In the day of judgment and forever is surrendered as a speed. There, this mountain always for forgiveness descend. Anyone going there and repenting and asking forgiveness, quickly will be dressed the ocean of forgiveness of Allah Almighty over this one. And he descended there and he was crying and praying and the tears turned to be now gems they found and until Allah Almighty accept his tawbah and again dress him by all his maqams which Allah been giving it to him. He said, go to Nuh alayhi salam. <coughs> he was the most respectful one to Allah Almighty. They went to Nuh and they will ask him, oh Nuh, make shafa'a for us that Allah finish this day. He said, no, I cannot, I pray on the creation of Allah Almighty, Allah to punish and to take them. And Allah scold me. Instead to say, finish them, say, oh Allah Almighty, send Hidayah to them, guide them. And Allah will tell him, I give you power, a secret of prophecy. If you ask something, I will uh, fulfill it for you. Instead to say, send the flood to take them. Why didn't say, send Hidayah for them, guide them for them. And I will make all of them to be believers. But this is the wisdom of Allah Almighty. Go to the Khalil of Allah Almighty, the not friend, but more than a friend. The, the one who is so, uh, Allah taking him as uh, uh, so close and deep of, of Allah Almighty, Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salam. They go to Sayyidina Ibrahim. He say, Wallah, well, I feel shy to ask Allah Almighty. Because in the Holy Quran he's saying, In all his life, he commits one sin, mistake, what that was, that the king of Egypt, he told him, is this is your wife? If he say, yeah, it's my wife, he will kill him. Because in the, that in the Sharia of that king and in this law, you cannot marry a woman which already is married. So he say, no, it is not my wife. I don't know her. She is my sister. He quickly saved himself by saying, my sister. So the king was happy. He can get to fear. She was very beautiful. Because. And so, but he was not able to take her as a wife because Allah sent panic to the king. Whenever he want to approach to her, he will be totally unconscious. And then after three, four days, he called Sayyidina Ibrahim and he told, take your sister and go away. Uh, your God is very powerful. Make me not to approach to your sister. Take it and And so he will say, I, once I lie in my life. Once he lie. Uh, now uh, our, we, we uh, were uh, sucking the milk from our mother, not the milk, uh, milk, uh, ordinary milk, but the milk of lies. Liars, as liars we were, sucking liars also with the milk. All of us, we are lying. The first whom 
we are relying on Allah Almighty. Because in the day of promises, we promise Allah Almighty by things, how to worship Him, to respect Him, what to do in this life. And when we came here into this life, when we are now in this life, no one of us is doing according to what He promised Allah Almighty. And Mawlana say, as if we lie on Allah Almighty, we say, yeah, we will worship you, we will make zikr of you, we will be sincere, we will be servants for you, good ones, honest. But when we came here, you are, you are, and we are, we are. No one is even paying attention to Allah Almighty, neglecting Allah Almighty, only one, a one, and ignoring Allah Almighty, one, a one, he is in a difficulty, he remembers that Allah Almighty, pray, oh Allah, please solve the problem for me. Hey, like this, Allah will solve it, and you are the big liar to Allah Almighty, you promise him, you worship him, you do your best to please him, and here, you ignore him. And for this, Allah said in the Holy Quran, لَعَنَ اللَّهُ الْكَاذِبِينَ Curse on the liars, and when she said, this ayat, not for the one who lie on the other one, but for all of us whom we lied on Allah Almighty in the day of covenant and promises, and we come to dunya and we didn't fulfill what we promised Allah Almighty, as if we lie on Allah Almighty. Then, he said, I cannot, I have one sin in my life, one time he lied. How much we are lying now? How much we are committing sins. And Sayyidina Muhammad in the Arabi said, Sayyidina Adam, once in his life he ate from the forbidden tree, only tasting it. How many times we are in the 24 hours eating from the forbidden tree? How much we are entering into all forbidden from Allah Almighty saying, don't do this, don't do this, don't approach to this, this haram and we are the first and the best to enter into all these forbidden things and to commit all these sins and mistakes. If Sayyidina Adam once in his life, we are every day, every 24 hours, thousands of times eating from the forbidden things. And every one of us then he will say, I am a kutub, I am an awliya, paradise for me, not for one else. All of you to Jahannam, I am only to go to Jahannam. I am the kutub. I am the shade, and all of you, you are the bad ones. He will tell them oh, to Sayyidina Musa, he was the talim of Allah Almighty. Allah used to talk to him, perhaps he can do something for you. They go to Sayyidina Musa salam, and ask him, oh Musa, you used to talk with Allah Almighty, Allah loves you so much, and Allah finished you, and he created you again. When Sayyidina Musa he say, oh Allah Almighty, let me see you. And Allah told them, hey, look at the mountain, if this mountain remain, when I will be uh, reflecting my light over it, then you can see me. And when Allah reflecting his light from his divine essence on the mountain, the mountain was totally finished and melted, and Sayyidina Musa was unconscious. When Allah really survived him, Rasulullah said, he survived him by divine delight and forever life, and he was then dressed as to say he did, uh, that I am the first mu'min to Allah Almighty. He didn't say I am the first Muslim, but the first mu'min now to Allah Almighty. So they go to him and they will ask him, you are the best to, for this day to us, Allah Almighty, to finish it for so long and we are burned totally by the sun and the moon and by all our bad deeds, let him finish. He as he like want to put us in Jahannam, he may, or Jannah, he may as he like, but to finish this day, long day, very long day. Uh, for Allah Almighty is not in seconds, because to Allah Almighty no time. He created time, Allah Almighty. Allah Almighty over time. And so uh, he would say, no, I cannot. I am very sorry. I am, I once in my life, I did something bad. I killed the soldier of Pharaoh. I killed one of the creation of Allah Almighty. 
how that I am ashamed to go to Allah Almighty and tell him, when if this day you tell me, how about this uh, honor children of Adam alayhi salam kill Ya Musa, what I will ask, I cannot. So I am not. I cannot do it. Go to Isa alayhi salam, he will be the spirit and the, 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 the word, word of Allah Almighty by me, he was appeared, and he is the spirit, or the spirit of Allah, from Allah Almighty, so go to him. They go to Sayyidina Isa, and Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam also giving them excuse that he cannot do it. I feel shy from Allah Almighty, because all people, they worship me and my mother, replacing Allah Almighty by me and my mother, and saying, I am the son of Allah Almighty, which I didn't say it, but they are saying until that day they worship me. How to go to Allah Almighty, tell him to finish this day, and he will tell me, don't, don't uh, feel ashamed from me that you make people instead to worship me, to worship you, and to take away a son for me, and you know that I don't uh, have a son. Lam yalid wa lam yulad wa lam yakul lahu kufwanat. Allah didn't give from himself to anyone. Or take from another one to himself, or there is no one equal to him, Allah Almighty. You get uh, ashamed from this? People taking you as a god and your mother, as now they say, uh, the, about Naqshuban, the way three in one. And the Christian, they say, the Father, the Son, Holy Spirit, and all one. Three of them, they are one. How can we? And Allah says, لَقَدْ تَغْرَ الَّذِينَ قَالُوا إِنَّ اللَّهُ هُوَ عِيْسَى عَلَيْهِ السَّلَامِ Allah saying, they are the Kafir, the one who say that Allah Almighty is Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam. And I just, he say, I, am, I cannot, I don't dare to go, I am feel shy from Allah Almighty, and Allah will scold me. Now you want to make shafa for people, and all of them used to take you as a son of Allah Almighty and, and worshiping you and your mother. I go to the beloved to Allah Almighty, seal of Prophet Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, whom all our light of prophecy and secret of prophecy given from Allah Almighty to us through him. He was the one training us and dressing us by the secret of prophecy from Allah Almighty. He is the seal of prophecy. They go to Rasulullah, and Rasulullah, he say, I am for it. Allah created me for that day. I am the Lord of children of Adam, alayhi salam, and no father. I am the Lord, not the Rasul or the Prophet. I am the Lord. What is the meaning of Lord? Lord means not only the master, but the owner of, this, of them. I am the owner of children of Adam alayhi salam and no proud Allah like this created me. Adam and all his descendants under my flag in the day of judgment. And this for me to go to the divine presence of Allah Almighty and ask him to punish this day. And so Rasulullah he will proceed toward the throne of Allah Almighty and his the tent, the tent of Rasulullah, the Liwar Ham, you know where? The Liwar Ham will be in this mountain, Rasul Mountain in Sham Sham. And this one will be descending where the holy wives of Rasulullah Maqams, there this one will be descend. And the tent of Rasulullah will be this mountain. And between this mountain and this one, the city of Damascus, could be no more city of Damascus. It will be the well, the Hawd al mawlud from where Rasulullah will give water to people whom they are going to meet in the, to divine the presence of Allah Almighty. And like this, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam goes and makes sujood in between the hand of Allah Almighty until Allah Almighty again will tell him, raise your face, what you want, my beloved Muhammad? Say, Ishfa to Shafa. Make intercession, shafa'a for anyone you wish, and I will uh, accept my beloved Muhammad. He said, oh Allah Almighty, I want you to finish this day. Eh? As you like, my beloved Muhammad. I finish it. Consider it finished. 
I am Allah Almighty. Finish, 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 finish. Less than a second, people of hell in hell, you to go to hell, Jannah, people of Jannah, you to go to paradise. Less than a second, Allah Almighty will question everyone and finish uh, everyone in less than a second, all of them together. يَوْمَ نَفْعُ كُلُّ أُنَاسٍ بِإِمَامِهِمْ Allah will call every uh, nation by the name of their prophet, everyone by the imam, every cloud by their imam. If you were following shaitan, you will call by the name of shaitan. If you were following, for example, the one whom we are following, Mona Shaykh Nazim, will be called by the name of Mona Shaykh Nazim. You are following Zan Shaykh by his name every group by the name of the Imam and then all will be called by the name of the Prophet. Then all the Prophets and all the nation and the nation of Rasulullah and all the Imams will be called by the Imam and the only and only Imam to Allah Almighty is seal of Prophet Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And Allah will only question him for all. And what do you think Allah will question Rasulullah for all? And Allah Almighty then will be questioning the Prophet who will witness that to give my message to people. Then two of the Siddiqs of the nation of Rasulullah will witness this Prophet or Prophet Messenger that he give the message of Allah Almighty. And Allah will tell these witness, two witness who will uh, witness that you are saying the truth, who will purify your witnessing. Then Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam will be appearing and say, Oh Allah Almighty, I am witnessing that they are saying the truth about this Prophet and like this the Prophet will be saved from punishment from Allah Almighty. See how much all Prophets they will be shivering in the day from Allah, from Allah Almighty while we are nothing, neither Prophets or awliya, and we are not shivering. Don't tell. And something. As if nothing for us, because no mind. We have no mind. If we have mind, the one who has a mind, from now he will prepare himself for meeting Allah Almighty. But no one is prepared. No one is caring. All what they care now, all they in every country busy, whom to elect, whom to vote, whom to work for him, how to make money, how to make business, how to get passport to have visas all over the world, to travel, to do their best, no one to say how I prepare myself to meet Allah Almighty and to get a passport from Allah Almighty, heavenly passport, which I, I can be traveling all over the divine, the kingdom of Allah Almighty, heavenly one, earthly one, and the malakut of Allah Almighty, which means the kingdom of realities, of everything which Allah Almighty is saying, praise be to me, whom the reality of everything in my hand, and all returning to me, my servants. No one is trying to ask Allah Almighty to give him a passport. No one, no one even knows about this. The one who wants, give me two pictures, and a certificate from the mayor, or governor, and all approved, if I will make for your passport. Heavenly one from Allah Almighty. We need two pictures and uh, a certificate that uh, there is no any hukum, uh, no badness on any one of you, and I will arrange for your passport, inshallah. Heavenly one. No one is preparing to meet Allah Almighty, only Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Siddiqs, Awliya, and Prophets, even Prophets except Rasulullah, they are shivering. They don't know what Allah is going to deal with them, to put them in Jahannam or in Jannah with their nation. And so like this, Rasulullah will make shafa'a for all of them and save the family prophets. Then he uh, make shafa'a for his ummah to save them. And Allah will tell him, yeah, my beloved Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, before I, I will uh, uh, question you on behalf of all this uh, creation and to finish, finishing, already finished this day, he told them, consider it finished, but I have something before my beloved 
Give me permission for it. And what you want, Allah Almighty? Oh, I am inviting now all ad dakirina wa dakirat all whom they used to be busy in zikrullah, in the khatmul khajatan, which we do, which Allah Almighty by Himself founded and being the foundation of it for Rasulullah and Sayyidina Abu Siddiq in the cave of Thor and appointed Imam for it to day of judgment and forever Sayyidina Abdul Khalib al Rajdawani, one of our big grand sheikh, to be the Imam of Khatmul Khajatan. And he say, Allah Almighty told his beloved Muhammad, wait for me a little, I want to invite these people first to finish them, to question them before all the others so that they will not wait too long. And Allah will invite, Ayn al-Dhaqirina wa al-Dhaqira, where are the one whom used to be busy in Zikrullah, male and female, and all of them, they will be like lightning, sparkling from in between the crowd of the Day of Judgment and all of them uh, proceeding toward the the throne of Allah Almighty, making sujood in between the hands of Allah Almighty, and Allah will say, raise your head, now time to reward you, because in past life you were so busy by Zikrullah, now time of rewarding what you will ask, I will, and all we will answer Allah Almighty by the blessing of Allah Almighty and the love of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the love of the lawyer of the court, Grand Sheikh and Maulana Sheikh Nazim, all they will say with their Imams, all these for the Grand Chain of Golden Chain and 7,007 Imams of the Nafshaban way, they will say, Oh Allah Almighty, which means the Dakirim and Dakirat. Male, female, who used to be busy in the, and attending the khatam and zikr, they will say, Oh Allah Almighty, we used to be busy by you. We left our houses, our families, our job, our work. Dr. Hasni will say, I left my hospital, everything, only to sit to make zikr. Even his lying. <laughs> Allah will make it. Okay. Uh, now when we are in between your hand and seeing your holy face, O oh Allah Almighty, we want anything else than you. If you will want to reward us, we want to own you, Allah Almighty. We want you, O oh Allah Almighty. And then Allah Almighty will tell them, for the sake of my beloved Muhammad, you will have what you wish, and uh, Allah will open the ocean of the divine, the attributes of beautiness and majesty of Allah Almighty, and a wave of light of beautiness will come and swallow all the Zakirin or Zakirat, and they disappear from in between the cloud of the Day of Judgment, and all the people of Day of Judgment, they saw them, how now we see the stars in the sky, so far away, points, like points, like this, they saw these, are like stars in the skies. And the heavens of the uh, Malakut and Jabalut, the uh, kingdom of Jabalut, of Lahut, God, the kingdom of Allah Almighty, uncreated kingdom, they are hung on the mother of thrones of Allah Almighty, uncreated throne, and they are rotating and making tawar around the divine, the essence of Allah Almighty, all of them no more to be appearing in between the people of the Day of Judgment. Like this, the, this one of 101 good tidings, when she said, for the one who attends the Khatmul Khajakan and the Zikr, of which we do it once a week, or twice, or three times a week, uh, as a Khatmul Khajakan. This one, of a hundred and one good tidings from what Allah will dress the one who are then male or female. And then Allah will tell him, consider it finished, and Allah by God the power will split them, people of Jahannam and people of Jannah. How do you think he will split them? Allah saying, I create every one of you to be dual in duality. وَخَلَقْنَاكُمْ أَزْوَاجًا دِوَلْ 
everyone that his ego and his self and his bad deeds and all his sins and mistakes and satanic world in him and proudness and hatred will be same uh, as the one, same shape, same body, everything the same, a body, same body, and the light of Allah Almighty from which we are created, and this physical body which created from the light of Allah Almighty and the light of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam will be a second one, two, dual, two bodies, one from a satanic body, one godly body, divine body, everyone like this. This satanic bodies and mistakes will be imputed to Jahannam and the bodies which created from and honored by Allah Almighty by saying I honor children of Adam and all they are created from the lives of Allah Almighty from the light of seed of Prophet as Allah said Allah I am the light of heavens and earths and our physical body in the earths which is referred existing by the light of Allah Almighty and they are lights of, from the lights of Allah Almighty and the heavens of us is the soul, the spiritual body, the soul of us which is also the light of it, they are from the light and the soul of Allah Almighty. They will be like this little, this, they will be go with the Imam of Rasulullah to في مقعد صدق عند مليك مقتدر نيبه بطوى الله والمائك عن رسول الله and this satanic body by the imamia of satan shaitan they will be go to be Allah will put them in the seven jahannamiyat in the seven hells to be burned and clean the kufr and the mistakes and the sins and the satanic world in them to be finished in the seven jihad. Like this, Allah will finish this day, and then He will give the Almighty, pen of Allah Almighty, He will give it for this Rasulullah never in His life, carry a pen or a pencil. Allah will give Him the pen, Almighty pen of Allah Almighty, and He will tell Him now, whatever you want to sign for them, you can do whatever. I create them for you, not for me. I don't have anything to do with them. I am Allah Almighty. I am the Creator, and I create them for you, my beloved Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And then he said, Mawlana, then Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when he will saw that Allah Almighty splitting them and dressing them, their the bodies of light, or and soul, of light of them, Allah will dress them by the 99 names, the God, the Divine, the world of names, and dread them by the divine regard, the world of attributes, then will dread them by his greatest name, until anyone look at one of them, he will not say he is he or not he. They will be lights of Allah Almighty, only swimming in the ocean of wahdaniyya, of oneness and uniqueness, ahadiyya of Allah Almighty. And the other splitted duality of them, which from uh, sins and satanic world, they will be you to Jahannam, to go to Jahannam. Then Rasulullah, what he will do? What now? Benefit of the pen, what he is going to do with the pen? Rasulullah will, whatever gained from Allah Almighty, whatever dressed from the eternal forever in his mi'raj ascending in the divine, the two bows or less divine the presence of Allah Almighty, what he was dressed by from ranks and maqams and lights and godly good tidings, he will take it off from himself and dress it over all children of Adam alayhi salam until you can't say that they are Rasulullah or not Rasulullah. They look like totally Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And he will be standing empty, nothing, empty from everything. And when she said, he doesn't know what Allah will deal with him in that uh, 
state, in that position, in that minute, what Allah will deal with him. But Allah is going to address him by, when he will do like this, Allah will be pleased, and he will make him the one to be sitting on the throne, and to be the one representing Allah Almighty between his creation, and he will be the one sitting on the throne, and all the people, they go to salute to Allah Almighty, but between the hand of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, as the brother of Sayyidina Yusuf alayhi salam, when he sit on this throne with his father and mother, all his brothers they make, and children of Israel to shoot to him. They say it will happen. And then this is known as the Maqam al-Mahmud, where everyone will be thanking Allah Almighty that he make us to be from the nation of Rasulullah, Ummah of Rasulullah, and Rasulullah, the beloved of Allah, the seal of Prophet, is our Prophet, whom Allah chose him to be for his, his divinely word and Imamiya to be connected with the divine God, the word of Allah Almighty from the eternal forever, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. This is the Maqam al Mahmud, whom they all they thank Allah Almighty for it. And then the loyal seal of Awliya, who is the heart of this reality of Muhammad Rasulullah, whom from him everyone, from through him, was dressed by the light of Wilaya as Awliya and by the lights planted in his heart of the secrets of the Holy Quran, which means the secrets of the God, the pre eternal knowledge of Allah Almighty. Also, whatever he was dressed in his ascending in the divine presence of Allah Almighty and Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, also he will take it from himself and dress it to children of Adam alayhi salam until all of them they will be appearing as they are the heart of the reality of sealed of Prophet Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam as if they are sealed of Awliya. And like this he will be also standing not knowing what Allah will be uh, dealing with him or what Allah will uh, be where he put him or where to ascend him or where to do with him. No one knows except Allah Almighty and Rasulullah Sayyidina Shaykh Sharaf al-Din Qaddas Allah Sayyidina Allah Anwa Arda the Shaykh of Grand Shaykh he told them even me I, can, I don't know what Allah Almighty will be dealing and treating him at that moment. Now, he said in his time, now, well, my son Abdullah Fandi, he put his feet, neither me, neither anyone of children of Adam alayhi salam, except seed of prophets, yet stepped in this high godly maqam and drank and ocean which he is stepping on it in the divine presence of Allah Almighty and Rasulullah. And at the end, in the day of judgment, where he is going to be, in which rank, in which ocean, in which uh, godly, uh, divine, the godly kingdom of Allah Almighty, neither me or anyone knows where he is going to be in the divine the presence of Allah Almighty and seal of Prophet Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. There is no balance in, for any prophet or any awliya or any grand shaykh or anyone to balance what the maqam and the rank of my son Abdullah Fandi. Even me, I, can, I don't know in which uh, rank he will be at that time. It will be in the hands of Allah Almighty Almighty hand of Allah Almighty and in the Almighty hand of Rasulullah. If either they will reveal it or they keep it concealed, no one to know except them, and he will be the twins of the reality of sealed of Prophet Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and where he will be assigned with Rasulullah, no one knows except Allah Almighty. May Allah Almighty for this teaching, now I am giving you from reality is teaching, not bothering you by three in one and four in one. One time it is Naqshbandiya Aliya, one time it is Naqshbandiya Nazmiya Aliya, one time Naqshbandiya Nazmiya, one time Rabbaniya Muslim Rabbani, one time 
I don't know like this or that, or it's not important. The main important thing is to practice the teaching and to drive this teaching and to be approaching and progressing and uh, ascending in the divine presence of Allah Almighty and Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam by the guidance of seal of Awliya Grand Sheikh and by the teaching and the power of Sultan of Awliya, Maulana Sheikh Nazim and this teaching so that to be in the divine presence of Allah Almighty and Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And so who want to be a khabib, who want to be successor, who want to be dressed by title, let them dress by anything they like and we accept all of them, we respect all of them, we love all of them, and mainly we respect and love and obey the will and the teaching of Mulana Sheikh Nazim that the one continuing the line is Sheikh Muhammad, the elder son of Mulana Sheikh Nazim, taking now he does the secret of the Naqshbandi way, continuing the line of Mulana Sheikh Nazim. But the main important how to for us, how to practice this teaching to reach to the divine presence of Allah Almighty and Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and all grand shaykhs and Abu Bakr Siddiq and Sayyidina Ali and all Sahaba to Ayyul Bayt and to seal of Awliya and Mawlana Shaykh Nazim and to be now, not to wait uh, till tomorrow the appearance of Sahib Zaman Sayyidina Mahdi but now to be with Sayyidina Mahdi alayhi salam or that he appeared Sayyidina Mahdi for us. But for common people not yet appear. And for this now to be with Sahib Zaman Sayyidina Mahdi alayhi salam and to be with all the divinely godly uh, uh, government of Allah Almighty whom they are uh, activating and they are carrying children of Adam and ascending them and taking off all burdens and sins from them and dressing them, completing them by all their worshipping in the day of promises in the divine presence of Allah Almighty in every second to second like this going on till the day of judgment. May Allah forgive us and mercy us and bless us by the divinely lies, godly lies, sincerely to Allah Almighty Sincerely to Rasulullah and lies of Rasulullah, sincerely to Grand Sheikh and lies of Sayyid of Awliya, lies of Sultan of Awliya, Mawlana and Sheikh Nazim, and uh, ascending by him and his guidance to all these maqams which we mentioned, and to be now with Sayyidina Mahdi alayhi salam, with Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam, with the spirituality of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi salam, with Sayyidina Khadr alayhi salam. They want to meet Sayyidina Khadr alayhi salam, and he's now sitting with us. Listening as I am listening. Translating as I am translating. But he's translating to Aulia and I am translating to Muris of Ona and Sheikh Nas. And like this, may Allah forgive us and bless us by their lives and make us all the time to be with them and to be crowded now and in the future and in the day of judgment. مع النبيين والصديقين والشهداء والصالحين وحسن أولئك رحمة Now I will go to the maqam of Hadzi Azzat إلى شراب النبي سيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وآله وصحبه وإلى مولانا سلطان الأولياء رحمه الله سيدنا الأولياء رحمه الله سيدنا سيدنا شأن رحمه الله He will mention every name رحمه الله Then all that said then was mentioning Sheikh Muhammad Adil رحمه الله I thought, don't say so, Allah, I get upset from you. You make him to die, he's <laughs> still alive, don't mention. <laughs> this say, Ustazi now, Ustazi, Ustazi, and Asadli, Tiyin Fatiha, finish. Then no one will get upset from you. And we say, Yashaw al Nabi Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Wali Wasabi, Rabbi Yabai, and Ummati, and Adat Ustazi, and Ustazi, and Asadli, and when you say Asadli, Tiyin, when she said, and Maulana, mean all awliya. From time of Rasulullah, from time of Adam alayhi salam, to Rasulullah, from time of Rasulullah, to Sayyidina Abu Bakr, Sayyidina all Sahaba, till nowadays, till day of judgment, they are included all in this, uh, in this uh, name, Siddiqui. So when you say Siddiqui, it goes to all of them. No need to mention name by name, and Rahimahullah, 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 then you mention the one who is alive and say Rahimahullah also. <laughs> 
he passed away, then he get upset from you, he will tell you no more Khalifa. <laughs> Be careful, Asherazim. And uh, the first one who is happy by this is Dr. Husni. He will laugh at you. Make fun of him. Then suddenly will come. إلا شرف النبي سيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وآله وصحبه أدرت أستاذنا وأستاذ الإسلام صديقا لله تعالى أن ترجع أسلام ولي الله في سيدنا صاحب الزمان لله تعالى الفاتحة All of you All of you You are in a مقام in a land that all of you have opening and vision you are able to see all the divine, the God, the world of Allah Almighty, Rasulullah, Sahib al-Zaman, and uh, Seal of Awliya, Mawlana Shaykh Nazim, but everyone according to his ability, and how much he is taking off the veils and curtains from uh, the heart of the one of us, of himself, how much he is progressing to take off all these uh, veils, there is two types or three types of veils and in the Sajud of Najat you must mention them that Allah to take them off from you. First the veil of all bad manners, Akhlaq al-Zamimah, then the second veil of what? Darkness, Zulmah, and the third veil what? The veil of light also. The light is a veil. And for this, to take Allah Almighty also this veil from you, then no more any veils, neither light, neither darkness, neither bad manners, then you will be totally your, your heart is a godly heart, divinely heart, house of Allah Almighty, where only, only the throne and the name of Allah Almighty will be engraving, as said Nashaw Naqshuban said, and he called the Naqshbandi way by the order of Allah Almighty and Rasulullah by Naqshbandi al-Aliyah. Why? Because mean that will be engraved on your body, on your, in your heart, by light, the greatest name, al-Ali al-A'la, al-Ali al-A'la of Allah Almighty, by light, Allah, Dullara. And who would ask me? Is between us now. Tiastaha? Here? Tiastaha? He knows this thing very well. He has already seen it in himself. He has opened it, mashallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Now everyone is free till evening. We have zikr and khatmu khajatan, inshallah of this Thursday and Friday in uh, Husni Ghaw's house with food and dinner. So anyone want to attend the Zikr and the Khadim, Khajatan, then is all invited to the house of Husni Ghaw's, uh, brother of Safi Ghaw's, to make the Zikr and the Khadim there, inshallah, and also to have something to eat. And all of us, we are going there, accepting this invitation. I don't think, yani for Zikr and Khatim, no one, this in his mind, only to eat. We are going only for the food, what he's cooking, what they are preparing, what they are doing. This is the most important. Because Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, what he said in the hadith, hum, hum, the main interested thing, for the moment is the spirituality, the spiritual food, the zikr, the khatim, salat wa salam wa rasul. And the main interested thing for a munafiq, a hypocrite, is the stomach, how to fill it. And we are all behind filling our stomach. No one is uh, caring to fill the spirituality because we say, I am yet young, there is time in front of me. But he doesn't know the one one the angel of death will come and take the soul and never the angel of death 
that differentiate between a young one or an old one or a baby. Whenever the order comes from Allah Almighty, he will come and take this order. And so be careful if you want to uh, get rid of angel of death not to approach to you in every 24 hour twice morning early morning when you wake up the first you wake up put me give sadaqa uh, even you put it aside that because Rasulullah says the sadaqa extend the life and take off all suffering from you and evening also just evening entering Maghrib time or Isha time quickly take sadaqa put sadaqa in another place and make intention that Allah make uh, give you long life because Rasulullah said the sadaqa extend your life uh, and take off all miseries and suffering and you, you Allah Almighty by this sadaqa this is the hadith of Rasulullah when she said and Mawlana and they teaching us day and night how to be always pay attention for sadaqa as sadaqa to taghdu al-bala wa tazidu al-umr rasulullah said what does it mean as sadaqa taghdu al-bala will take off the bala from you wa tazidu al-umr and extend your life no more angel of death to come once in the time of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam a sahabiyya a lady Sahaba, the name Sahaba, she saw before 24 hours of angel of dust to come, always like this, he will send the Malaika assisting him to take from every cell, to collect the soul from every cell until they will be finishing the soul from the body. Only now, only remain to take it from the one, he will come and he will take it. And so when she saw this malaika descending to start to take the soul from every cell of her, Mawlana say, and still saying, she said, my beloved Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa that the sadaqa uh, take off all suffering and bala and extend the life of the one. Why to let them to take my soul now? And I am very happy with uh, living with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa and seeing him and praying after him and listen to his teaching and to sahaba and practicing with him Islam, I don't want to die now. So quickly she entered to the kitchen of her house and she started to make uh, bread, three loaves she made, loaves, round one. They used to eat like this. Three loaves, she made them, and even the malaika were taking the soul of her, but she has vision, she sees. Because not everyone will see them when they are working. No one feels it. And so she baked three loaves and she sat on the door of her house. It was the houses, not the apartment. They are used to be houses all on the main uh, road, street where all people going coming. And poor people also going coming. So anyone to donate for them. She sat and with these three loaves in her hand. The first poor one coming, asking for something, she gave him the first law. The another one coming, second law. The third one coming, she gave the third law, and then she told the Malaika, do whatever you want, I am not going to die. You will see. She was threatening them. Then when they finished taking all the souls from her and only to angel her of death to come and to take from the throat, he came. But he said, he saw, was so surprised, it is the order of Allah Almighty to take her soul. But he saw a big, very curtain, round one, covering all her face and throat till uh, the stomach of her. Then he said, I will take it from the navel of her, in the open place. He went there and he saw another round. Uh, circle, veil, curtain, covering all oh, till the knees of her. What this Abari said, this in his life, said Azrael alayhi salam, he said, I will take from the top of the feet, also you can take from there. He saw, he went there, he saw that also the toe, the feet, and till the knee, the cell, low, 
the third circle veil covering her and was totally her body covered by the sadaka which she gave to these poor people, these eulogs. Then he was standing surprised. He is ma'asum, yani. he, he cannot disobey the order of Allah Almighty and Allah ordering to go and take her soul. Allah Almighty, I arrived where I came, as you order, and, but I am not able. From every place I want to take the soul is covered with a veil. I am surprised what I will do. I am waiting your order, what I will do? To return or to remain standing until this, uh, you will take off these veils so that I can take the uh, soul of this lady and Allah Almighty addressing him, oh, my servant, Azrael alayhi salam. She is a sincere, believer in my beloved Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa and she has sincerity in her heart that she really believed by the hadith of my beloved Muhammad that as sadaqa taluddul bala wa tazidul awr that the sadaqa, the donation, it will take off the miseries and suffering and the bala from the one and it will extend the life of the one. So for every love I make it as a veil for her, the three loves, for every law, I give her a 10 years of age to live. After 30 years, come and take her soul. Now I gave her a 30 years according to the, to the Sadaqa three laws which she gives them by all means of believing and sincerity and love for my beloved Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Like this, you see how much they have uh, faith in what Rasulullah used to talk, quickly they practice it. Not like us, Maulana, 40 years teaching, 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 and no one practicing anything. Everyone now practicing what his ego, his desire of telling him to practice, is practice. And what Maulana teach us, never any one of us, from me down, and no one is practicing. Nothing. But every one of us, what he wants to be, the Khalif, Deputy, big awliya, big shaykh. Why? How you got it? This is cheap, so free you got it, like this. Allah will give it to you. Or someone will promise you, I will make you my khalif and deputy for Naqshbandi way, but follow me. And the one is crazy, no mind, he say, yeah, I'll follow you, make me the deputy, kick out Hajaz that, and put me in his place. Uh, and he promised him, I will take off one, now I will settle this matter with my uh, in-laws, I will give him, and I put him on his behalf, to be Khalif on Dr. Husni and Sabri and all the people, and uh, I am seeing Dr. Husni and Sabri and all the Muiz of Mawlana, Sheikh Nazim, they are going to throw him, and the one appointed him in the ocean of Sri Lanka, of Kolo, and turned it down. And so be careful, don't go further in your mind and thinking, don't go so far away, keep respect and adapt to Mawlana, Sheikh Nazim, to grant shaykh, to awliyaullah, to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa to Allah Almighty, and to practice their teaching, and from their teaching, this what the grant and Mawlana teach us, how every morning, evening, to make, to make sadaqah. Even you didn't find anyone to give him, but put it aside, whenever you find the one, you will give the sadaqah, then the dust will not come. Or, no stroke or heart attack, night time or day time, anything will come over you. You will be totally protected by Allah Almighty. Allah will appoint Malaika from your Sadaqah to protect you in this 24 hours. May Allah forgive us and mercy us. Ila Shraf al Nabi wa Ali wa Sahabi, Allah is Sahih wa 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 Sahih In Arabic language, to say Sadiqiyun is wrong. Because when you say Wa'ila, like uh, Ila means 
حضر جل يعني make everything after that to be the accent of it to be E يعني we must say it's the beginning and for this Allah and the Holy Quran are saying أولئك مع الذين ينعم الله عليهم من النبيين والصديقين he didn't say صديقين والصديقين والشهداء والصالحين he didn't say صالحون because all of them must be given this accent why we say صديقين because grand sheikh he didn't use the Arabic tongue he said I'm not going to use it until the appearance of the reality of Rasulullah and my reality to spread the teaching and to plant the teaching of the Holy Secret of the Holy Quran. And so to make himself doesn't know Arabic, he used to say instead of Siddiqiyin, he say Siddiqiyun. And to keep the how Grand Sheikh said it, we even Mohan Sheikh Nazim keeping, we say Siddiqiyun. But really it is Siddiqiyin, you must say, but we say According to how Grand Sheikh pronounced it, we keep it as it is done. Some of the deputies of Khalif, they don't accept, they say Siddiqiyin. But I am keeping, and Mona Sheikh must keep in all to say Siddiqiyin as Grand Sheikh pronounced it. Even in other languages, which is not, uh, must be Siddiqiyin, we say as Grand Sheikh pronounced it to keep it, this much more accepted to Allah Almighty than to follow the Arabic uh, accent. May Allah forgive us. Asr is Antara or not yet? Yes, What is the time now? 3.55. 3? 55. Okay. Uh, at what time the Azan? 3.40. 3.40. So now 15 minutes. So we say Asr, then everyone free till Aisha. The invitation of Maghrib one, Hasri. Your brother one is his invitation. Maghrib. Maghrib or Aisha? No, no. How we prepare himself? How we pray? Maghrib here is much more wider than you go. Okay. Eh? Okay. Okay? Aisha. Pray Maghrib here. He's nearby. Pray Maghrib here and we go there, Inshallah. And we, there we start first by the uh, either Zikr Khatim Khawajakan or if we want to make Qasida first, some Qasida, then we make Zikr and Khatim, then he will put food for people to eat. First with Aisha and then for them. Like this, inshallah. But not to be like last night till 2 o'clock. And we finish by 11, 10, 10, 11, and we don't forget. May Allah forgive us and bless us. One for Azan.